Welcome to Unfold Data Science, friends. My name is Aman and I'm a data scientist. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to implement L1 and L2 regularization in Python. I'm also going to show you how the regularization technique improves the model in terms of stability and what it does to the model coefficients if we talk of regression models. So let's start, guys. First of all, I'm importing these packages so nothing fancy here, pandas, numpy, matplotlib, etc. I'm importing data sets from sklearn because I'll be using Boston data set, which is a common data set. I do not want to make it complex. I want to keep it very simple so that all of you can get it very easily. Okay. So I'll be using Boston data set, trend test split, linear regression, R square. All of you know this, nothing to explain here. So just let me run. Then data sets dot load underscore Boston will load Boston data set and I'm converting that to a pandas data frame. I'm assigning the column names. And if you can see, this is how your Boston data looks like. Okay. So there are various columns here, for example, crime rate, for example, some nitrous oxide concentration, age of the house. So based on all these parameters, right? So there will be a house price column in the end. That is the target column. Okay. So that is the target column. These are the independent column for Boston. Okay. Now we come here and we take Boston data set dot target, assign it to house price variable, and then we get predictors and response. So if you see predictors will look like this, predictors will look like this because all these independent features and on basis of these predictors, we are going to find out what is the response or we are going to train a model to find out response. Okay. So response is house price. Now I'm just doing a trend test split guys, 20% I'm keeping in trains a uh, test. So nothing fancy here, just a basic split. Now I'm running a simple linear regression model, applying a linear regression on X train, Y train, linear regression dot predict X test, which means I'm predicting on test. I'm calculating R square and printing that value. These are very common things, no need to explain. Here, what I'm doing is, I'm creating a data set and I'm calling it coefficients underscore DF. Basically a pandas data frame, okay? That will have two columns. One is column name, other is coefficient value. So in this data frame, I want to store all the columns of the predictors. So I'm saying xtrend dot columns, column names of the predictors actually. And I want to store their coefficients. So I'm saying linear reg dot coefficients. What will happen if I run this is I'm also plotting those coefficients. If you see here, guys, what is the value of R square I'm getting from the model is 58%. Okay, 58%. In this 58%, I'm getting various coefficient values. So NOx is minus 17. Uh, this is a strong variable looking like RM is a strong variable, CHAS is a strong variable, right? And same thing we are printing here. If you see, these variables are kind of strong variable, okay? This is a simple linear regression. Now, what is the use of regularization, guys? Regularization will kind of tune your model coefficients in such a way that you will get a more stable model, okay? So I'm coming here and I'm trying to run my first regularization model that is known as ridge regression. So I had explained in detail in my theoretical video, guys, how ridge regression works. You can watch that video. But first of all, what I'm doing here is I'm importing sklearn.linear model import ridge. Ridge regression is equal to ridge. Alpha is equal to, let me put it one to start with. So what was alpha, guys, if you have seen the training uh, theoretical video, the alpha is nothing but a parameter to tune the model or a parameter which tells to model how aggressively you want to penalize for your coefficients. Okay. So let's start with alpha is equal to one. Apart from this line, there is nothing changed from the previous code block here. Okay. Same code block. Just that here I'm running linear regression and here I'm running ridge regression. So let me run that and see what happens to the coefficients guys. So if you see here, NOx, which was previously minus 17 has become minus nine. Okay. CHAS is 4.11. And what was the third important variable here? Uh, RM, RM. So RM has reduced a little bit. RM is 4.23. 4.11 was CHAS. So if you compare, right, 
but one thing we need to comp we need to see here is the the variable which was strongest here right nox that has re reduced significantly okay it has become minus 9.6 previously it was how much minus 17 that is the difference when you run a regularization model for example ridge in this case what happens to model accuracy guys it remains more or less same 58 was there and 58 is here also so though the model accuracy is not changing by huge margin but the coefficients are changing and why it is happening it is happening because we are kind of penalizing for the larger coefficient that is what alpha does now how much you want to penalize will depend on how much alpha you want to set let's say alpha is equal to 2 the coefficient will shrink further you see here nox has become minus 6 right so that is how ridge regression works guys if you if you penalize your coefficient aggressively then your coefficient will shrink more that might not always result in a better model because this is still 58 if you see right but we need to ensure that we are setting the right value of alpha if you make alpha is equal to 0 0.5 that will be a kind of moderate approach okay moderate approach so from minus 17 to minus 12 it has come previously it was minus 17 right plain linear regression model so this is about ridge regression guys where the equation is equation of the loss function is normal linear regression loss plus lambda into slope square okay and this is your alpha that that was there in lambda so same same thing basically okay now if you come here guys i am implementing a lasso regression as well and let me make alpha is equal to one here as well sklearn dot linear model lasso and lasso regression and all other things remain same what is the difference between uh, lasso and ridge regression guys there the equation was lambda slope square and here the equation is lambda modulus of slope that's all okay if i run a lasso regression guys let me see what happens same way i am running apart from those one that one line if you see here guys the nox has become totally zero okay now pay attention here guys in a plain linear regression model nox nox was minus 17 in this model and a ridge regression model we saw nox was moving from um, minus 12 to 9 to some values right but in your lasso regression model this has become totally zero now one important thing to note here is in ridge regression none of, none of the coefficients were becoming zero but in lasso some coefficients are becoming zero hence we say that lasso can be used as a feature selector as well so how you can use as a feature selector guys suppose i want to run a random forest before running random forest i run a lasso regression and see which coefficient becomes zero i take out those coefficient from my analysis and run my random forest so that is how lasso can be used as a you know feature selector as well another thing to note here is the model accuracy has reduced so previously it was 58 now it is 48 right previously it was 58 now it is 48 so what is happening here guys the model uh, r square is not improving some coefficients are becoming zero so why don't we take these coefficients out and run one more iteration to see what happens to r square right and why don't we see some more ways to improve the model right so what i'm coming here to say is regularization technique is not the only way to improve the model that is one of the way okay now what are the other ways to improve the model so let's i have just plotted here a basic pair plot between l stat and house price okay l stat is one column in the data and house price i'm able to see a parabola kind of structure here it goes down then it comes up like this okay so i remember once i had done a square of l stat and run the model on boston data set it was giving me some better result so i lead uh, i leave it up to you guys just see how the scatter plot is looking like and how the more feature engineering is possible on this data okay but for now the thing to understand here is how lasso is impacting the model how ridge is impacting the model in terms of coefficients and accuracy as well and how we can tune these using alpha values right so there are there are much things that can be done on this data but my purpose was to show you the implementation of l1 l2 here so i'm showing you that okay 
and try to run on this data try to run on any other data that you have and see how it is changing that will that will improve your understanding of this subject guys and let me know if you are stuck somewhere if you want to do somewhere more something more with the data i'll see you all in the next video guys please press the subscribe button if you have not done yet i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care